Hello Vogue, I am Kai Scodelario. Welcome to my suite. I'm just getting ready for the British Fashion Awards. Come on in. This is my gorgeous dress by Bora Atsu. I'm going with a pregnant nutcracker vibes, as you can see. I didn't want to do a stereotypical maternity dress. I, I thought that would be, I mean, definitely not for the British Fashion Awards. I wanted something fun and edgy. Kate Moss is my idol, so I kind of tried to imagine what she would wear pregnant <laughs> to the Fashion Awards. We have the dreamiest, sparkliest shoes in the world. My mum had a heart attack when I showed her the shoes I was wearing tonight, but I'm very confident in them and I'm sure I'll be fine. Cut to pictures of me on my ass on the red carpet. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I don't go into labour, but if I do, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to turn up in full glam to the labour ward. Could be tonight, my husband is waiting in the car with the hospital bags, just in case. Um, but I'm feeling, I'm uh, squeezing her in for tonight. We are at Claridge's Hotel in London, one of my favorite hotels in the world. Um, and we have two and a half hours to get ready for the British Fashion Awards. This is lovely Gina. She's from Manchester. <laughs> this is Eamon, he's Scouse. It's a northern team. It's a northern team. <laughs> and so far, I'm getting my legs greased up because it's very, very cold tonight. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna turn blue at some point. But that could be a look. Let's go with it. All the movies I do seem to shoot in the middle of the night in winter anyway, so I'm very well prepared. I have very thick skin. I think I'm excited to see the new talent. Um, emerging. I love the British fashion scene. I always have. It's where I came up. I started going to the shows when I was very young um, and I've seen Im incredible stylists and designers sort of build their brands over the years. So it's always kind of magical to, to get to watch them be celebrated and have a night dedicated to them. Um, I also feel like it's going to be quite fun. There'll be lots of people that I haven't seen for a long time and just have a really fun evening. So the BAFTAs I think was the very first one. Um, and we were very, very unprepared because um, we were basically, it was before Twitter and Instagram, so we couldn't really gauge how popular the show was. We, we didn't know how popular it was, internationally especially. Um, and our, our category was um, the only one voted for by the public. Uh, this is for Skins. And so we went very naively. The producers were with us. They were literally like, look, there's no way we're going to win. Just have a nice night, have some champagne, even though you're underage. Which was great because there was no pressure. I was wearing a gorgeous, I believe it was Matthew Williamson dress um, that was sparkly and silver again. Maybe that's my thing. And when they announced that we'd won, we were so unprepared and terrified that they pushed me to be the one to speak, which was ridiculous because I think I was 16. <laughs> and it was really lovely. It was the first time that we could gauge how popular Skins was worldwide and how much it meant to a whole generation of people. The British ones are fun. There's more booze, for sure. But I can't drink tonight, so it will be my first sober awards <laughs> show. I was thinking about it the other day. I've had to learn how to ice skate, professionally swim, horse ride, shoot a gun, um, like a bunch of just random skills that you would never normally learn in life. And that's a really cool part of it, that I've, I've, I've gotten to um, meet these incredible coaches and and they've been very disappointed in me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's really quite cool how many weird little skills and things I know how to do now. But not very well. A lot of it's camera trickery. It's not me. I love work. I've always been um, very hardworking. My mum's an immigrant and I think that gives you a certain mentality. Um, I don't like to complain. I don't, I, I like the hustle. I like pushing myself. I like getting something done. I think it's such a collaborative job and that's one of the best bits of it that all these people come together with different skills and they make this bit of art at the end of it and then they give it to the world and it doesn't belong to them anymore. Um, I think that's quite magical. We're nearly at the end, we've got 30 minutes left to go. Doing the final little bits and feeling really good, loving what they've done. It's always fun to get to see it in real life as well. As a kid, I would watch um, the Met Gala every year and it was my favorite event because of the clothes and the theater of it all. Um, but seeing it kind of in person, you can really see the details and the shape and how it moves um, has always fascinated me. So I'm very excited to see what everyone's wearing. 
gonna go get my dress on now, um, and then we will do final touches afterwards. We can see how it looks with the makeup and the hair, and we can make sure everything's perfect. I'm all dressed, I'm ready, um, and now for the most important part, beautiful jewels. Time to go. Um, we're all ready, we're all dressed, we're jewelled up. Let's go. Thank you. Straight in! 